Yes, yes, you've read it right. It's praline popcorn. You're gonna love me after this. We have one stick of unsalted butter, a fourth of a cup of light caro syrup, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a cup of light brown sugar, and about a cup of chopped pecans. We're gonna add everything inside of the measuring cup or larger microwave safe bowl. I do suggest that you use a larger bowl for this. I just didn't feel like personally going to look and search around for mine, but you're gonna put everything in except for the popcorn and we're gonna put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. We're only putting it in the microwave the first round for 45 seconds to basically get that butter nice and melted so you can begin to stir it around. Okay, so now that it's melted, once you stir it around, you're gonna start to feel like, you know what? You know what? I can do this. I can do this. And this is what it's gonna look like before you put it back in the microwave again. Okay, for the first round of a minute and 30 seconds, I want you to pay attention to your microwave because it's different, like each stoves are different. You're gonna notice the first time it's gonna swell. You're gonna stir it until it deflates. Then you're gonna pop it back in the microwave and then you're gonna notice halfway through it's gonna start to swell. That's no problem. Just stop, stir it, start it back up until the minute and 30 seconds is finished. This is the flavoring that I had on hand, so that's what I use. You can use vanilla or you can use real rum. As long as it's a half teaspoon, you're good. And now you're gonna stir it up and get ready to put it on the popcorn. We're gonna jump right into mixing it up. I have it in a large stock pot. If you have a large enough bowl, then you can do that as well. But it's gonna be a lot of turning and fluffing the popcorn and it could get a little messy. That's why I chose a large stock pot. Okay, so this looks delicious and all, but make sure you remember that this is a very hot substance. Don't go sticking your finger in this because you'll end up pulling back a nub because it's gonna be really hot. Now, when you do the popcorn, I do have one big, big tip. Remove the seeds before you put it in the pot. Notice I put some extra pecans in it. Move this, Remove the seeds when you put it in the pot so you don't have to worry about breaking a molar or a front tooth. At this point now, it's cool enough to touch that I've mixed it around because it takes like maybe about three minutes to really get the popcorn coated the way you like. And I laid it out on a large sheet pan with parchment paper and I'm going to make it flat and let it cool if your family can allow it to happen like that. Mm -hmm. so good. If Bina didn't convince you, maybe my parents will. Good. Oh, popcorn so good. Really? Oh, that stuff is heavenly. Oh, I like it. I think it's damn good. That's good. why I'm putting I heard him telling you that. I said, let me go to buy this stuff up before I have to hurt this man. <laughs> 